Hello everybody, CQ the Kid here, and today we are playing more Ace Attorney. Last episode, we got a lot of information out of Miss Star here. And this episode, well, I forgot to check over what we got. Anyways, I saw it all. This is always something we need to do, so I'm gonna press on this. Um, do you think you can restate your testimony? Listen once, okay, let's look at this again. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the wall. She then picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her... So she pulled her cell phone out of her pocket. One second. I changed the settings just because, you know, I thought... Like, the music was too loud, and I didn't want to keep turning down the TV because then I can't hear it. And during that time, you climbed over the chain link fence. Then, when I boldly grabbed her arm, the chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you... you and you saw her doing this. What is it, Mr. Wright? You hear the chair keep squeaking because I try to keep going. The Chief Oscar made to escape, but against Angel Star, it is futile. Holy. She brushed aside my hand, terrible sight, kicked over an oil drum, blah blah blah. There's gotta be something here. Right. Let's see. I really thought presenting the phone would help. Maybe it's this? Objection. That is not the case at all. My god, this is difficult. This is difficult, because I, I have no clue. Um, we're going to the prosecutor's parking lot to get stub. This is not going to be helpful at all. Done an hour and a half. Nothing from that. Objection. I presented the phone already, I think. Oh god. Uh, I think you're all going to forgive me if I do this. Just because I'd rather not, you know, game over. No matter what I've been using in Android Tuesday boxes, victim is victim's thing, record of the Record of parking in the prosecutor's parking lot. Entered lot at 512. Nothing. I'm gonna present the crime photo. Objection. That didn't help at all. Try to think before you make accusations. Wait, is it gonna be the floor plans? Objection. Oh my god, why? Miss Star, I can see that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. 
Well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Ahem. Let's look at the four plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true... Oh my god! You, got, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Guy making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. That's why! Oh god, I wasn't thinking about that. Because I thought she already jumped the fence and was like at an angle already and saw. Not that she didn't see because she didn't jump the fence yet. If indeed you were in beat block, you couldn't have seen it. Here we go. What? Mark! Ooh, Kappa Queen is losing it all. What is the meaning of this? It's simple, Your Honor. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies. Ugh. That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question. That's exactly what the lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about where she saw it. No. What she saw, no. The order of events. She lied about the order of events. Miss Guy used that emergency phone before the murder. I see. I haven't thought of that. The look in the wind out of her sails. Mr. Wright. I hate to bother you. Is that where you but... Why would anyone use the emergency phone before the murder? Huh? Just when you think he can't seek any lower, he measures his apology, Mr. Wright. Is that wrong? Witness lied about where she saw it then. Nothing. Therefore, it would be pointless for Mr. Wright. It would mean Mr. Witness is coming from a different location. There you go. I guess I was wrong. I guess I keep getting stuff wrong. Now that's a pointless lie if I ever heard one. Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All this has we've heard until now points to one direction. The place where Miss Star witnessed the crime was... Not... I think it was the security room. Why? Because she wasn't here, Sky would have seen her. She wasn't here because then nothing would make sense. For Sky not to see her, but she to be available in a... It would be the security room. Whoa! There you go. She's in the security room. This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room. Indeed, if the security room the security room in the park in the underground parking lot is well positioned. It is built on the second floor so you can see the entire lot. Whoop. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness, not being part of the prosecutor's office, couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the wall is here. If I remember your testimony, you said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room. Yes. Well, Miss Star. How many years have I been getting have I been getting the better of men to think that the tables could be turned? Today a man has gotten the better of Angel Star. My god, be gone. Eh, it's just a thought. I'm trying not to get in trouble with YouTube. It was just me thinking. That's why I said it was just a thought. Just my thoughts on this character. It's just not good. Be gone. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. Now the question I have is... If all of that is true, like she wasn't there, how did she get this photo? How? Because it's obvious that this is from the chain link fence. This is from the time of the murder. Yes, but where'd she get the picture? She couldn't even be in two places at once. Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why didn't Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells us all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. It still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. What? 
If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Who else? Mr. Wright, let's reveal what we know. She was in the... She witnessed a crime from the security room. But she lied and said she saw it from B-Block. Angle of view to the crime. Mm, distance. Difference in... Th that doesn't make sense. Angle of view to the crime. That makes the most sense. This is the crime. I'm going with the angle. Why the angle at which we, she saw the crime occur would change. The angle? What do you mean? Security guard station on the second floor. She would have to sort of a 3D view of the crime at this point. Why? I am wrong! Oh, crap. Okay! I s Don't you dare tell me it's distance and lighting. It's a difference in lighting. What does it mean? I'm talking about the picture! The picture! The picture! Ouch. That one stung. Whoops. Well, I guess we get to see what happens for game over! Ouch. Okay, time to jump. Okay, now that we're back here after a few minutes. She wouldn't risk it without a good reason. Me? Who else? Okay. She was in the security room. She lied about being in B. Vital difference, but what? What would change? Distance to the crime, I guess. It changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. My condolences, Mr. Wright. But one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. What she saw is not the question here. What matters is the time it would take for her to reach the scene of the crime. Miss Starr, you witnessed the crime for the security guard station. Now how long did it take for you to go from there to the scene of the crime when you arrested Miss Skye? Well, witness, you. Yes? You ordered the squid wheels, right? Oh, yeah, my lunch has gone from low to inedible. I was bringing a PB&J lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriends. Hmm, boysenberry for the boyfriends. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass wall station. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene, but the door was locked, so I couldn't open it. So what, did you, like, kick the glass open? Nope. Well, that's why. That's how she got the picture, too. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking in b Block. It's quite the detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Five minutes? I can't believe it. This changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have the photograph evidence. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. And someone is walking down the stairs. Because family is everywhere. Now, for anyone who was wondering what that sudden cut was, it was because I had to talk about family stuff. Please do not mind at all. It's just how things work. Back to the video. Would you like another caviar lunch? I did that just to mark the fact that that happened, okay? Absolutely. Uh-oh. Mr. Wright, you have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Raise an objection. objection. Of course. Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You can make a pasta in that amount of time, if you like it al dante. I've got a lunchbox that tie pastas into knots, rookie. 
Five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange. If you were a criminal, what would you do in five minutes, Your Honor? Well, um, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! Don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. But you have the instincts of a killer. You would run, but this time was different. Miss Sky Dwarrow at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal will act this way. It's inconceivable! Yeah. Well then, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant. A blank in her testimony. Ugh. Mr. Edgeworth is the next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright. That was too close. I'm afraid that the coffin queen has been dethroned. And with that, court is adjourned! Yay! One g Excuse me. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off on me! I prefer not to take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? Is this another one of our lo trick lunchboxes? My apologies. But we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, what's she going to pull out of her lunchbox this time? She's going to pull out like another like three triple deckers at once just so that way she can keep the court going. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on the shoe. One was, of course, the victim's. And the other blood type matched that of the defendant. The shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence T to what? We see clearly. Witness, what is the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. Sounds like some of the girls at my school, to be honest. This is why I don't ever date. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. Thank you. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Ugh! Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty solid. I like how basically they just copy and pasted, like, Phoenix's text twice. You could at least study some evidence law. The prosecutor's complaint notwithstanding, it appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another court against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness! Ah! Okay, decisive evidence. Here we go. Blah! We aren't do we aren't doing it now. Why? Because it's the end of the episode! I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time for more Ace Attorney.